Hello everyone, Pixel Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest, The Slug Menace. This quest is considered intermediate difficulty and is medium length, about 30 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include 30 crafting, 30 rune crafting, 30 slayer, and 30 thieving, completion of wanted and sea slug quests, and the ability to defeat a level 62 slug prince using only melee. The required items for this quest include Calm Orb. If you don't have this in your bank already, you can buy it from Sir Tiffy Cashian in Falador Park for 10,000 coins, or with a Law Rune, Enchanted Gem, and a Molten Glass. Swamp Paste. Chisel. Ability to access the Abyss, or One Water, Earth, Fire, Air, and Mind, Talismans, or Tiaras, which are items we will be banking for later. 5 to 10 Rune or Pure Essence, which we will be banking for later. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have 5 Teleport Tabs to Falador and Ardoin, Super Energy and Stamina Potions, Weight Reducing Gear such as Graceful Gear, Slayer Ring, Melee gear, which we'll bank for later on. Food, which we'll bank for later on. Prayer potions, which we'll bank for later on. If using the Abyss, also bring a pickaxe and a fully charged Amulet of Glory. If not, bring a ring of dueling and teleport tabs to Varrock, which we'll also bank for later. Also have six empty inventory spaces. There are some maps in the description below that help you to identify some of the key points of this quest. Open it up to keep it handy. To start the quest, you must first go to Falador. The easiest way to get there is by using a teleport. Now you'll need to find Sir Tiffy Cashian, who's located in the Falador Park. If you don't have the Com Orb, talk to Sir Tiffy to receive it. If you already have it, then talk to Sir Tiffy. When prompted, say, do you have any jobs for me yet? After the conversation, he'll upgrade your Com Orb to Com Orb V2. Right click on your Com Orb and select Contact to speak with Savant. Now you must head to Witch Haven. The easiest way to get there is by using our Doin Teleport and then walking east. Go to the northeast portion of the town to the pier. Once there, talk to Colonel O'Neill. When prompted, say, what's the mission, and... That's enough for now. After the conversation, you'll have to find Brother Maldict. He is located in the center of the town in the building with the altar. Talk to him, and when prompted, say, that's enough for now. Now you'll have to find the mayor. He is located in the most northwestern building in town. Talk to him, and when prompted, say, I'm just looking around, and... Nothing at the moment, thanks. Savant will contact you and ask for you to scan the mayor. Left-click on the com orb to scan. Next, you'll need to find Holgart. He is located just to the north by the water's edge. Talk to him. Afterwards, talk to Colonel O'Neill again. When prompted, say, that's enough for now. Walk west out of town to a shrine. Once there, climb down the old ruin entrance. If you look at your mini-map, you'll notice that to the east is a red wall indicating that it's false. Click on the wall to push it open and enter. Once through, you'll see aggressive level 45 giant lobsters. Continue going through the path until you come across large doors. You can use the agility shortcut to the east or follow through the entire path. Pick up the dead slug on the ground near the doors. Be warned that trying to open the doors may result in you losing 5 hit points. Then, try to open the door and Savant will contact you again. Stand right next to the door and use your Com Orb to scan. You will receive notes. 
Now you must travel to the outpost, which is located northwest of West Ardoin. You can either get there by using a Slayer Ring and teleport to the Stronghold Slayer Caves and then walk south, or teleport to Ardoin and walk from there. Once there, talk to Joral. When prompted, select Translations. After the conversation, walk out the building and Savant will contact you again. Now go back to O'Neill at Witchhaven and talk to him. Afterwards, walk to the church and a cutscene will occur. Then talk to Brother Maldict. Now go to the mayor's house and search his desk. You should receive a page. Talk to Ezekiel Lovecraft, who is located in the fishing store, to get another page. Talk to O'Neill again to get the third page, but has been ripped into three pieces. Try and use the swamp paste on any of the broken pieces, however, Savant will say that it will only ruin the pages. So now you must travel to the fishing platform. You do this by talking to Jeb, who is located by a small boat just north of town. Once there, run west to a building and talk to Bailey. He will take the dead slug and turn it into glue. Use that glue on one of the pages and a new interface will open up. You must put the three pieces back together by using the arrows on the right hand side of your screen. Some of the pieces may even need to be flipped over. I've included an image of the completed page for reference. When complete, you must now bank, so teleport back to our doin. Keep the pages in your inventory. If you are using the abyss, be sure to grab a pickaxe, chisel, amulet of glory, and as many rune or pure essence as you can bring. Be warned that you will be going into the wilderness to do this, so bring gear that you're not afraid to lose. If not using the abyss, bring a ring of dueling, teleports to Varrock and Falador, one water, earth, fire, air, and mine tiara or talismans, and bring as many rune or pure essence as you can. To start, first travel to either the water, earth, fire, air, or mine altars using the abyss or other means. Once there, you must empower your runes. For example, if you are at a fire altar, right click on page 2 and it will give you the option to shape fire. Click on this and a rune should change shape. If successful, use that rune on the altar to empower it. You can break the runes by doing these steps. If so, shape another rune and start again. Continue on through the rest of the altars using the same technique. Once you have empowered the water, earth, fire, air, and mine runes, head back to Ardoin to bank, and let's talk about the final fight. You will be fighting a level 62 Slug Prince. He can only be attacked with melee and is weak to crush. The Slug Prince is pretty easy to defeat, however if you are a lower level, Protect from Melee might help. Be sure to collect your newly created runes, Calm Orb, food and prayer potions. Also bring Melee gear that has high crush stats. When ready, go back into the shrine past the lobsters and again take the shortcut if you can. Use each of the runes on the imposing doors and a cutscene will occur and the fight will begin. When you have defeated the Slug Prince, another cutscene will occur and you will be teleported to Falador. Talk to Sir Tiffy nearby and ask about the Slug Menace to complete the quest. Congratulations, you have received one quest point, 3500 crafting experience, 3500 rune crafting experience, 3500 thieving experience, Promotion to Proselyte, which you can purchase from Sir Tiffy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.